hi there students to belabor okay i think we you we nearly only use to belabor nowadays meaning to explain something in much more detail than is necessary to argue a point but much much more than is necessary to go on and on about something to harp on about it's a video you could look for okay so to belabor can in the past it used to mean to hit um, he belabored me with a stick that sounds incredibly formal and incredibly old-fashioned nowadays I think you could use to belabor nowadays just about to talk about to criticize at length the boss belabored me because I was late but note this sounds incredibly formal um, I would limit that to uh, an essay perhaps or a really really formal document okay but to belabor to continue talking about so much that the listener gets bored oh, I can't believe it he's still going on about it yeah the the first collocation that comes to mind or the only one is to belabor the point so maybe you're arguing or discussing something with somebody and they belabor a certain detail they go on and on about it yeah um and you can't stop them from talking about it or from continuing to explain the details um you could belabor the details of something as well but to belabor the point this is the best collocation um i probably belabor the details of uh the meanings of these words and how to use them um there's no need to belabor my mistakes and here we are really close to criticize and it sounds okay yeah so to keep saying um you did it wrong you did it wrong and to continue perhaps over time so to belabor this comes from the verb to be and labor work so to work something but to an excessive degree um to lay to be belabor is also a regular verb belabor belabored belabored um so to belabor to go on and on about something to harp on about it to continue complaining or saying or explaining that point or that detail I don't want to belabor this point but it is extremely important that you understand it okay that sounds okay like that um, remember that to belabor it sounds incredibly formal if you use it as to hit he belabored me with a cricket bat you're going to sound weird he belabored me for my mistakes it still sounds a bit weird but excessively formal <coughs> and he belabored the point he belabored this detail he belabored my mistakes this sounds okay it still sounds formal but it works in modern everyday english so the formality this to belabor 7.5 8 in formality yeah this is a pretty formal word sounds quite literary as well don't use it in an informal conversation it probably goes best in a story or in a formal uh document okay so i'm not going to belabor the meaning of this word anymore if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon bye for now belabor <laughs>